The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the book of the prophet Hosea. Come, let us return to Yahweh. He has rent us, and He will heal us. He has struck us, and He will bind up our wounds. After two days, He will revive us. On the third day, He will raise us up, and we shall live in His presence. Let us know, let us strive to know Yahweh. That He will come is as certain as the dawn. He will come to us like a shower, like the rain of springtime to the earth. What am I to do with you, Ephraim? What am I to do with you, Judah? For your love is like morning mist, like the dew that quickly disappears. This is why I have hacked them to pieces by means of the prophets, why I have killed them with words from my mouth, why my sentence will blaze forth like the dawn. For faithful love is what pleases me, not sacrifice. Knowledge of God, not burnt offerings. And our response is taken from Psalm 51. For I am well aware of my offenses. My sin is constantly in mind. Against you, you alone, I have sinned. I have done what you see to be wrong that you may show your saving justice when you pass sentence, and your victory may appear when you give judgment. In your graciousness, do good to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will delight in upright sacrifices, burnt offerings, and whole oblations, and young bulls will be offered on your altar. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus spoke the following parable to some people who prided themselves on being upright and despised everyone else. Two men went up to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee, the other a tax collector. The Pharisee stood there and said this prayer to himself, I thank you, God, that I am not grasping unjust, adulterous like everyone else, and particularly that I am not like this tax collector here. I fast twice a week. I pay tithes on all I get. The tax collector stood some distance away, not daring even to raise his eyes to heaven. He beat his breast and said, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. This man, I tell you, went home again justified. The other did not. For everyone who raises himself up will be humbled, but anyone who humbles himself will be raised up. The Gospel of the Lord.